Greetings, YouTube. Today we have something very, very special. We have one of the first Electrolux uprights, and this is the heavy-duty model. You can see it says Electrolux on the handle. And Electrolux is just one of those brands that warms everybody's heart when they hear it. And unfortunately, it's one of those brands that's kind of no more, but kind of still around. Arius is making products, but they're... They're not what they used to be. They're not as high-tech nearly as they used to be. So this was originally designed in the 70s and released in the late 70s. So this was quite the vacuum of tomorrow and has a lot of features in it that other vacuums don't have, like the lifetime belt. Okay, show you this mechanism, the SIBO clut-like clutch. Uh, we've moved the camera to the other side because I just want you to see this. It's so cool. We're going to continue putting in screws where I think they belong. That one looks putting screws in everything. What's interesting is in. they put uh, some of them, they, they go in like. Was that like a quick change brush roller back in the day? Because you were yes. only doing one size. That was the purpose of that? Um, it's so you could change it without taking the thing apart to the point of messing with the belts. Yeah. Power nozzles were built that way too. Uh, we're gonna set this whole thing on its side, right where the chemicals are. And it's gonna go blind. So some of the other features that are quite unique to this machine and were definitely like a big deal at the time. It's hard to imagine when you know things like Kirby's and you know Hoover convertibles, uh, you know, roam the earth. Uh, with all these direct air uprights that this funky thing came out. And so, so one of the features it has is it has a full bag check light. So that's that's quite, again, this is a vacuum from the late 70s. It has kind of a push button on and off. And there's a mechanical lever in here that does that. Um, this thing that says lock is actually the handle release. So that's in quite an unusual spot. The other thing I like is the cord hook. And they would transfer this onto the Discovery. But you'll wrap your cord on this, like so. You'll release into your hand, and then the cord hook is also a cord holder. So that's something very unique to this. Now, let's talk about the bags and the tools here for a second, because that's definitely another funky thing. I was able to find some bags on eBay. So you press this le lever and this folds open. So what's in here is we have a gasket here and this is actually all molded as one piece and set into this plastic. Very advanced for the time. We have a nice piano hinge here. Again, very advanced for the time. And we just have what would have been a self-sealing bag almost. Um, very large bag. Give you an idea how large this bag is. I mean, it's, it's large. Here is a giant coffee table book, and you can see that bag is much larger. So you have a large bag. Now, inside here, things get kind of funky. I'm not sure how much you're going to be able to see in there. But there's no pre-motor filter in here. There's just an airway path, and that's it. Now there is a full bag check indicator, not full bag check, a bag check indicator where the machine will not start. You can see the light turned on, unless the bag is in there. So that's, again, really cool, super high tech for the time. Now the thing I don't have for this that I would love to have is a tool set. So if you have a tool, even just the adapter plate, so there was a plastic plate that would have gone right here, locked into place, and then you would have plugged your hose in there. And it was, it was far simpler than even like a Kirby, Kirby attachments today. Uh, so that was really a cool idea. Um, you know, plugging in attachments separately was not, not a new idea at the time, but it was supposedly very easy with this cleaner. Now, the other thing, when we get to the bottom of this cleaner, I just talked about, you know, lifetime uh, belt and all that. But when we get to the bottom of this cleaner, is the height adjustment. That's super weird. The height adjustment actually moves 
all four wheels up and down. So that's really unique. In fact, let's turn on the side, let's just see the bottom side of it. If we can without scratching our table. Excuse my camera work here. Um, so all four wheels are actually gonna move up and up and down on there. So that's really, really cool. It maneuvers all right. Oh, there, there goes the dog. <laughs> um, hey, Fuffa. There's the dog. Just hit the tripod there, apologize for that. Um, so you have a wooden brush roller, metal base plate, so this helped they glide. And you have these nice big indents here, and these allow big objects to pass into the vacuum, and that's really a big deal. Oh, must smell good. Actually, it does smell good. It smells like a lavender tide because I washed most of the pieces either with that or I put, I put a lot of this in the dishwasher, actually. The other thing is we have this glass-filled resin base. This is something, again, not unique now, but at the time that was really advanced stuff using these metal and plastic combos. They claim this was the world's most advanced upright. And at the time, I don't think that would have been uh, inaccurate. Now we do have a metal locking system here, and there's a plastic lock in here that locks on these two tabs. Later they would go to a metal on metal tab, uh, but this one has a plastic tab, of course. And then the way this main body comes apart here is just like an Electrolux 2100 or an Epic 65, you have these sliders that pull out. So that's Again, very unique, very Electrolux. Um, and this was like the pre-runner to a lot of the stuff to come. So let's go ahead and vacuum with it a little bit. Give you an idea how this old girl handles. We're going to do a pickup test. Now this vacuum doesn't have a way of shutting off the brush roller. So there will be no bare floor test. But we're just going to see what it does on carpet on the usual mess. Which is pet hair, flour. And the cat litter is a little bit different than usual, uh, but nevertheless, there's cat litter. And then, of course, our breakfast cereal. So let's see how it does. Well, you were able to see how that picked up there. Um, that's the action camera turning off. But let's see what's there, what's not. Really, I don't feel anything left behind. It, uh, it's actually a little bit more powerful than I realized. Um, so, as you can see, that picks up pretty well. So let's go ahead and clean a little more at this.
whole lot in there. But it gives you an idea of how the old Electrolux does. So as always, please give this video a big thumbs up. I know that's hard to do on some of the smart devices, but do it anyways. Definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you want to support content like this, definitely go and check out our Patreon. As always, thanks for watching. point out is there are a lot of places like this that only use one screw, like this that have a plastic clip, so they were really trying to trim it down. I think they were trying to make it for the war effort. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you knew World War II, we did all sorts of things for the war effort. Yes. Well, I was going to blow that out. I think we're just going to use some suction. <laughs> We're lost that we going for the flaps now, honey chow. We're gonna get the bottle